Why don't white people season their food? It's a running joke all over the internet that white people colonized half the world for spices and don't use them. But where did it come from? Partly geography. Most spices are grown in the global south, and the spice trade relied on transporting those flavors further north to Europe and North America, where they were not a natural part of the diet. But it's also due to key moments in history. Due to the spice trade, spices were a huge hit for years in Europe until they had colonized so many nations that seasonings went from being exclusive to being readily available. In the 1600s, the European elite decided that to separate their tastes from that of the commoners, they would stop using spices and cook food more simply. Gradually, that trend spread throughout the continent and became a cooking norm. In North America, the desire for seasoned food actually continued through the 1800s. But in the early 1900s, a few things hit back to back. America started to mass produce food. World War I hit, the Great Depression hit, and America joined World War II in 1941. All of these things spurred years of food insecurity and a need to ship and store food for longer. So the processed bland food they were able to churn out became a go-to. Americans had to focus less on flavor and more on ensuring they were fed. While Americans of all races relied on industrialized food during this time period, after World War II, people of color went back to their cultural roots, bringing the seasonings that were indigenous to their lands of origin back to their kitchens.